Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to leave the Microsoft Windows Partner Program on your Windows 11 computer. So, assuming that Windows 11 has been released and you want to exit the program or perhaps you want to go from one channel to another, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that and we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So, all you have to do is go ahead and open up the Windows search menu and you want to search for Insider. Best match to come back to Windows Insider Program Settings. Go ahead and open that up. And now you want to select where it says Windows Insider Program. Get preview builds of Windows to share feedback on new features and updates. Go ahead and select that. Now you can see where it says Stop Getting Preview Builds. Go ahead and select that. So if you scroll down, where it says Stop Getting Preview Builds, unroll this device the next version of Windows release. Unenroll this device when the next version of Windows releases. Available for beta and release channel. Turn this on to stop getting preview builds when the next major release of Windows launches to the public. Until then, your device will continue to get insider builds to keep it secure. You'll keep all of your apps, drivers, and settings even after you stop getting preview builds. Go ahead and toggle that to the on position. So again, once you get another major Windows release, it will automatically install the main channel release so you will no longer be in the beta program. Or alternatively, if you want to unenroll this device immediately, you can select this. However, you would need to clean and install the latest version of Windows. So this will erase all of your data and install a fresh copy of Windows. So this is Windows 10 because it's still, you know, Windows 11 beta edition at the time of making this tutorial, but it should get updated to Windows 11 at some point. But if you were to go ahead and click on this, you would have to go and open up a Microsoft web page here. And like I said, you would have to factory restart or reset your computer. So let's go ahead and actually open up the web browser here that it takes us to the link it wants us to. So scroll down here. Basically, it just it's going through the process of resetting your Windows computer. So you'd have to go and factory reset, just like you would do a normal computer reset there. So if you close out of here, open up the start typed in reset. Best match to come back or reset this PC. Go ahead and open that up. Now you would go ahead and scroll down where it says recovery, reset, advanced startup, go back. Go ahead and open that up. And then you can select reset this PC. Choose to keep or remove your personal files then reinstall Windows. Go ahead and select reset PC. And then you would walk through the process of removing everything and then once you've done that during the installation process, it give you an option to sign up with a Microsoft account, or you can create a local account too if you don't connect to the internet during the process. It will give you an option to still create a local user account at the time of this recording at least. Things may change, but I don't personally see Microsoft getting rid of that option. But pretty straightforward there, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.